Hey, hey, welcome to Terra Nell Designs. I'm Sam Nelson, and each week we redesign an outdoor living space to fit the individual style and needs of the homeowner. Today is this in our series about our house. So the homeowner happens to be me and my wife, Natalie. Today we are tackling the weed garden. Um, please hit like and subscribe, that really helps. If you're looking to upgrade your backyard, head on over to terranelldesigns.com and click get started. All right, let's get to it. So today on the Our House series, we are tackling the weed garden. So I know I teased this a little bit, um, but this is, I think it used to be a vegetable garden um, before we moved in, but it's just uh, a disaster. It's like a science experiment gone wrong. We chose this space to clear out the weeds, and then we went to Melka Garden Center, uh, shout out to Jimmy Melka, and we got their help picking out some plants. So we need something low maintenance. Uh, we tend to be really busy in the summer and uh, frankly, we kill plants. So we wanted something low maintenance. We wanted some perennials that are gonna come back every year and have some interest. Um, our main focal point is a shrub. It's gonna be a little limelight uh, hydrangea. It's gonna have little like white or light green flowers that turn into like a red or a pink over time. And then we have daylilies flanking the sides there. That's gonna give us a pop of yellow. And then um, towards the front on the lower ground cover with kind of like that minty green leaf, that's gonna be a spotted nettle. It's gonna have little pink flowers on it. So for this process, um, we laid down weed mat. Well, first we dug up all the weeds, got rid of those. Uh, we turned the soil. It was actually really pretty good dirt in there. It was nice black soil, not a lot of clay. And then we layered in some compost uh, to give the, uh, the plants a really nice base to grow from. We laid out our weed mat and then we laid the plants out in their buckets to kind of uh, visualize the layout. Then we cut little X's in our weed mat, planted, dug out those, uh, those areas and planted the plants watered the snot out of them, and laid down our deco stone. So we used like a river rock, not exact match obviously, but we tried to kind of match the existing stone a little bit so it wasn't too jarring. We didn't want to have like a, a complete contrast and have to have either an edge or, uh, or like put edging in that area just to keep it simple. We probably need at least two more bags of stone, maybe three. It was a little sparse in a couple areas, but otherwise looks way better. We're really excited about it. So now we just gotta water the snot out of it. Um, there's definitely gonna be some pruning and some trimming over the years, cause it is kind of a tighter space, so we don't want it to be too overgrown. And all right, that wraps it up. I hope you guys found value from this video. Uh, please hit like and subscribe if so, that really helps. If you're looking to upgrade your backyard, head on over to our website, terranelldesigns.com, and click Get Started. Until next week, I'm Sam, and this is Terranel Designs.